Doctor. Hi everyone. This is Sustainable Innovation YouTube channel where people learn innovative ways of doing things. Today we want to showcase for you how to effectively install, inspect IPL from zero to the final state. Please stay tuned and don't miss any point from this process so that you can pick it up from here, start your apiary going forward. My name is Robert Ruko from Kisumu County, Kisumu Northward. I'm a beekeeper. So today we are going to do how we are going to cover how you are supposed to set up your beehive. This is a standard Langstroth hive and uh, I'm going to show you how to set it up. So this is the, this is the bottom board, the frame board. So it has this board screen that uh, you can slide for inspection. Mm. This one you can slide it, it's mostly for inspection or if you want to clean it. You can remove it outside completely or in most cases you can put a screen here a glass screen if you wish to be able to, to inspect your your hive behavior from down here without opening it or you can also put a, a mesh during hot seasons the bees don't like uh, so much it will affect them so you can put a a mesh screen instead of this one during hot seasons. During cold season you can put this board and uh, it's also very easy to clean. You can put some um, some trap here for intruders, beehive intruders, like the bee, the hive beetle. You put some oil with a bait here that can pack them. So you know, when you want to clean you just slide it out. So, this is my deep super. Deep super, I'll put it on the frame here. These are 10 frame hive. So, these are the frames. So, if you want to catch your new swarm to get into your new hive, the basic things that you need to do. Uh, the environment has to be conducive for the new swarm and uh, it has to attract them to for them to enter inside. So first of all, when you want to get your bees to get inside here, you have to bait your frames with wax. Mostly you can use the, the brood comb that has been melted, like uh, this one. This one is made out of brood comb that has been melted and uh, it's like a foundation, wax foundation. It's pure wax from the bees. They love this one and the smell. So when you bait it, they'll just come here automatically without you hustling so much to touch your new swarm. So you just put them here and you install them inside. Or you can also have some old brood comb that you might need to use for just the bees after you've smeared wax inside your hive to show new new swarm that this is a place that other bees have lived before. So they'll come in here, the, the scouts will come and inspect, they'll feel like it's a conducive place for their new colony. Then they'll come and get inside. So also you can you can also use uh, other attractants like this is a homemade uh, attractor from olive oil and uh, lemongrass. Bees love lemongrass. You can use some cloth, just a little bit of it. I don't want to use it right now. The bees will come here. So you put it in, in the corners of the of the hive. Then you close it. So after a few days. Mostly my my hives are being occupied within three days maximum when I put this. So when you've already set up your frame inside the hive, you use top 
cover board. Like this one, you put it here. It's when you put the other cover on top of it. And, uh, like the other hives, you can see it from behind there. And you wait for your new song to get inside. So, when your colony becomes bigger, what do you need to do? Some people start to wonder what am I supposed to do about it. This only needs space. Because they'll come here, they'll see, oh, this, there's enough space for us here to build our home. So when they are congested, it's very much easy just just add some a new 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 box. It's called the super. Most we use this as the honey super, the medium. You put it inside on top of this. One. And uh, mostly, if it's for commercial, you're only producing honey. You can choose to use your your queen excluder. This queen excluder is only the worker bees that can pass through it. So you insert it on top here. It's when you put your honey super. So here is when the bees are now able to store extra honey. From this extra honey, you also harvest yours and. Uh, Leave them with enough for them to use because if you take everything, your bees will starve. You only need to take whatever you need and leave the bees with whatever that can sustain them. So, actually, you don't just put uh, bees in any box, you need to know their, their lifestyle and how they are the quality of bees. Like, um, you see, in between the frames, there's a space. Even if you can take a closer look, this this space in between the frames is called the bee space. The space where the bees are able to work or to move in between each and every frame during their lifetime their lifetime process and work, and uh, when they are performing their duty, the queen also is able to move and lay eggs in different in different combs. This, this space is usually between 8 millimeters to 10 millimeters. It doesn't have to be so big because when it's too big, again, the bees will fill it up. They don't like so much spaces in between. So during your collection of honey or during harvesting, you'll have a hard time to split the, the frames. Nowadays, we have more improvised ways of, of removing the frames. There's this frame holder. You just put it inside here. It has this space here, so you just pick it. It's just like an arm. You put it here, then you just pull it up. For a for a small swarm, you don't need to give it a bigger hive because they'll get overworked. They need to draw their their new combs in time because it's a new it's a new swarm. They need to start their daily activity. So when you you give them a bigger space. It's like you're overworking the bees. They'll get tired and they can even abscond your, your hive. What? Another thing mm. or other measures that you need to take, when you have your, your hive stand like this, you're supposed to keep uh, ants away. Bees don't like intruders. They, li they like living in trees. So you can grease the stand down here so the ants don't get uh, access to, to the hive because they know all the resources that they get from bees. They are like thieves who come to get free, free meal. Yeah. What are the do's and don'ts in beehive? Like the way you mentioned, if you place uh, honey, you are just destroying your new country. Like yeah. Mm. Actually, when you want to bait your, your hive, People, some people say like you put honey, no, you shouldn't do that. Just put some wax, bees want a, a place where other bees have lived before. That wax will also be, like you're giving them easy work, like you're starting a construction of, of a house or a new home, you have resources there. So they'll, they'll eat that wax and use it to build a new home. Yeah. That's the reason why you put this, um, Wax foundation. They use this to build their homes. So it's it's pure wax and but, fresh wax from. Why is that when some people place 
their combs, they end up with insects or mites or all those instead of having yeah. bees. Mm. Yeah, storage is also a very important measure. You have to store your, your combs in a place where they don't get the mold. Even though bees always clean up, it's when they start their activity. They can clean combs with a little mold on it. Sometimes it's good to clean it or to store it in a, in a good place. Like for myself, for those old combs that I used to bait my house, I refrigerate them because like for the wax moth, they produce a very, very, very pungent smell for the bees. Actually, they can chase the bees out of the, of the hive or they can make the hive to abscond their, the bees to abscond their hive. So if you, the reason why I refrigerate my, my combs is because it will kill any, any egg or any larvae from the wax moth. Then you can even choose to clean it. So it's safer for your bees. Thanks so much for watching. I hope going forward everyone need to consider doing apiculture with Robert as your expert. Reach out to us so that you can connect you with him and be able to effectively install, inspect and enjoy honey. Thanks so much.